Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to set a recovery contact for your Apple ID account in iOS 15 on your iPhone or iPad. Losing your Apple ID password can make your digital life a misery because it can leave you locked out of the account that you use to manage your Apple devices, unable to access your iCloud data and manage your app and service subscriptions. In this scenario, Apple Apple can't just reset your password for you, especially if you have two-factor authentication enabled. Setting up a recovery is one alternative solution. However, in such cases, you can't change your password unless you have a trusted second device as well as the recovery key. In an effort to make things easier, Apple in iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 allow you to set up an account recovery contact that can help make sure you always have access to your account even if you forget your Apple ID password or device passcode. It's worth pointing out that your recovery contact is someone who can verify your identity and can help you regain access to your account and all of your data if you ever get locked out. Your recovery contact should be a person you know and trust, such as a family member or a close friend. They will need an iOS device of their own running iOS 15 or iPadOS 15 or later and must be over the age of 13. They will also need two-factor or authentication turned on for their own account and a passcode set up on their device. That all being said, let's learn how to set a recovery contact for your Apple ID account on iPhone and iPad. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To get going, launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad and then you have to tap on your profile. After that, you have to scroll down a bit and then tap password and security. Then tap account recovery and under recovery assistance tap add recovery contact. Then read the on-screen information. Then tap add recovery contact. After that, you have to choose a recovery contact. If you are part of a family sharing group, eligible contacts will appear in the options. Alternately, tap choose someone else to search your contacts. Then tap next and the following screen lets you send your chosen contact a message letting them know you have added them as your recovery contact. You can send the default or edit it before sending. Then tap send when you are ready, then tap done. Finally, I would recommend you to save the person's phone number so that you can contact them if you need help with account recovery. That's pretty much it. So that's the way you can set a recovery contact on your iPhone or iPad. Now that you know how it works, make the most of it to recover your contact. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.